Peace fam, Queen here, and I am too, too excited about what is taking place today in the Bitcoin market, as well as this article that we are about to go through on Cointelegraph. It has been a long time coming, and Grayscale has won against the, SC, uh, uh, the SEC. Uh, they, w they have been wanting to convert uh, their fund to a Bitcoin ETF, a Bitcoin spot ETF. And, you know, if you've been in this Bitcoin game uh, long enough and you, you, you're a real Bitcoiner, uh, then, you know, you know, the SEC has been trying to stop at every obstacle, uh, the roadblock that they could put up to block a spot Bitcoin ETF. Well, the day has come. The day has come. Today is August, what, 29th, 2023. You know what's happening next year is the happening, the Bitcoin happening. Listen, listen, this bull run is, is just heating up. OK, this bull run is just heating up. But anyway, let's let's get into this article, because like I said, I'm really excited. Uh, BTC price jumps to two week highs on Grayscale versus the SEC Bitcoin ETF win. Uh, let's see where we're at right now. Um, yep. You see this big green, big green candle right here. Right. That's a Bitcoin's dream right there. So um, let's go back to the article. All right. So BTC price volatility returns as good news over GBTC's conversion to a spot Bitcoin ETF since the market rally. SEC was arbitrary and capricious with Bitcoin ETF rejection. Data from Cointelegraph, Markets Pro, and TradingView captured an instant BTC price reaction to the event, with BTC USD gaining $1,700 in around 30 minutes. The news uh, appended a stale Bitcoin trading environment that had endured after snap losses in mid-August. A ruling by the United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit stated that the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission was wrong to reject an application by Grayscale to launch an exchange, exchange traded fund using the Bitcoin spot price as its basis. The denial of Grayscale's proposal was arbitrary and capricious because the SEC failed to explain its different treatment of similar products, an unverified copy circulating online states. We therefore grant Grayscale's petition and vacate the order. Grayscale thus joins the waiting list of firms seeking to launch what will become the first U.S. spot Bitcoin ETF with the SEC yet to approve any application. At the time of writing, BTC USD circled 27,300, having reached as high as 27,723 on Bitstamp. The data from the Binance BTC USDT order book uploaded to X, formerly Twitter, by monitoring resource material indicators covered the uptick with order classes boosting buying and what was a market lacking liquidity. So you can go on to read this article. Um, it's just some really, really good news here because here's what's about to happen, folks. Look at that green candle. Look at that green candle. Here's about what's to happen. You have to remember all of these other outfits that are that are uh, laying in the wings to get their Bitcoin spot ETF approved. You got BlackRock, the largest of the largest of capital aggregators out there in the world with trillions of dollars under asset under under management right assets under management so <laughs> listen if you i mean i've been preaching this since bitcoin was under a thousand bucks i've been explaining to people the importance of you know why you should bitcoin and why you should hold you know a, a large portion of your net worth in bitcoin uh as a store of value this thing is just heating up you know, there's plenty of plenty of different ways that, that you can leverage. You can grow your Bitcoin. Look in the description of the video here. I've got one platform uh, that's smoking that we're rocking and rolling in. You can leverage a hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin into, you know, 400 over 400,000 in five years. Uh, if you want to do a short three year, you're talking over thirty five thousand. I mean, it's, it's, it's bananas out here. But the thing is, you got to get in the game. You can't sit on the sidelines. All, always do your due diligence, right? Always do your due diligence. I'm not telling you to be haphazard and just jump into something. But what I'm telling you to do is to study. If you have children, 
and you're not studying Bitcoin and learning about the cryptocurrency market, shame on you. Shame on you. If you have a retirement that needs to be funded and you're not studying this market, shame on you. You can't blame anybody but yourself. Can't blame anybody but yourself because it's all right here for the taking. This is decentralized finance at its greatest. You have no middle person being entity in the way of you yourself creating wealth. It's right here. Dig in. Dig in. See you in the next video.